Hello, I'm Rex Busterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a video about my Quilcom Sim Chow. The Sim Chow is a synthesizer which is made specifically to simulate this type of gong, also known as Tam Tam or Chinese gong or symphonic gong. The Sim Chow is not a replacement for my sim gong because the sim gong uses a completely different engine and is capable of simulating a very wide range of gong types my good friend and dsp guru martin vikinek came up with something which i thought was impossible and that is an array of 256 resonant bandpass filters which amazingly use very little CPU. That remarkable innovation in filter technology has allowed me to uh, produce the SimChow which I think uh, ha makes a much better uh, attempt at simulating the chaotic resonances of a real gong basically the Sim Chow sounds better, in my opinion, than the Chow preset on the Sim Gong. Another major advantage of this filter array system is that we don't need two separate synthesizers, one for the uh, more tuned modes and one for chaos. Uh, it's a continuous bank of filters, and um, so therefore matching the sound of two synthesizers which we had to do on the sim gong uh that's been eliminated with the sim chow so my intention is to run through uh what the controls do and um to get a better grasp of what's going on i do recommend you read the user guide for this one um otherwise it may appear somewhat mysterious First of all, I should tell you this is a monophonic instrument and it's played using uh, middle C on your keyboard and that's velocity sensitive. You can tap it lightly to warm up the gong or hit it hard to make a big crash. And the B below middle C uh, is a fixed rate damping which damps the sound as long as you hold the key down. In addition to uh, having the B key, uh, to uh, damp the sound of the gong. You can also use the mod wheel. If the mod wheel is left at zero, you get the um, the full sound. And this knob can be used to damp using the mouse or will respond to the mod wheel. So I'll just demonstrate that. That's a proportional damping. <laughs> So uh, that's the sound of proportional damping, whereas on the B key, you get this. So we are using um, the same filter bank for all the sounds, but we have two different envelopes. One is for the chaotic component and one is for the strike component, which is the uh, initial sound. So we can set the time it takes for the bloom to unfold and the decay time of the chaos. We can simulate the hardness of the mallet head with this control, going from soft to medium hard, and the decay of the uh, initial strike sound. The 
The swing system is taken over from the sim gong and simulates the slight fluctuation of timbre that you get uh, when a gong is hit hard and it swings. <laughs> So that's a demonstration of the more extreme settings so you can hear the modulation effect. So now we come on to the uh, vibrational modes of the gong and as I mentioned before there are 256 resonant filters now. Can you imagine having 256 tuning controls, one for each mode? Um, well that would be crazy wouldn't it? So instead of having that uh, very unwieldy system, Martin came up with the idea of using pseudo-random arrays of frequencies and altering the, um, the content of those um, values and tuning them and having a range and an offset of those values which makes the thing far more manageable to set different tempers. So these three knobs here affect all 256 filters. We've got uh, up to tw what, 20 different um, pseudo-random arrays and the tuning control alters the shape of the sorted curve of these arrays and the resonance affects the resonance of all the filters. Now for the high and the low, um, what I've done here is separated uh, range, offset and level for the lowest 32 modes and the range, offset and level for the remaining 224 modes. Um, bear in mind that the all affects these two, so um, there is an interaction. Now there can be uh, all sorts of influences on the uh, spectrum of uh, a gong sound, so I've provided this um, EQ, which is simply um, a shelving uh, tone control for bass and treble, um, but you, the difference with this and a typical hi-fi system is that you can ch set the frequency of the slope of the shelving filters and the set the cut or the boost. course you may want to use your uh, own EQ plugin so you can just turn the internal one off there. So that's my Quilkin Sim Chow and I'm going to play you out with a minute's worth of montage of the presets that I've included which um, show 
uh, that you can make all sorts of different noises with this because it's a synthesizer and not a sampler. So if you want the sound of a synthetic synthesized gong, then um, I hope you find this useful. And until the next time, bye. Thank <laughs> you.